You guys will not believe what we're reviewing today. We have the new Timberline XL, which we've already reviewed, and the Ironwood XL, which we've already reviewed, but now we're gonna combine them together and do a versus video. Only one way to find out which one I think you should buy and which one I think is worth the money. Let's go. All right, don't forget if you guys are uh, new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit all the buttons, do all, all the stuff, it helps us out a ton when you guys do that. Also, if you're in the Denver, Colorado area, that's where our showroom is, so come to our showroom and you can check out all of our awesome barbecues. We have a new golf channel, we'll include links to that below as well. Um, just helps us out a ton. Okay, so let's get down to business. So we already reviewed both of these, we'll include links below if you wanna watch the full length review on both of them. Um, and I'm gonna tell you, you know, th those are super in-depth reviews. Today I'm not going crazy in-depth between the two of them, but really more of a versus video to see what you get when you upgrade to the Timberline XL. So, um, they both have been redesigned. The old platform, we had the Pro Series, which was the good, then we had the, uh, the old Ironwood, which was the better, and then the Timberline, which is the best. Same exact scenario here. But now that they're both redesigned, is the Timberline worth the month, springing for the money? Let's go through what upgrades you get with the Timberline, and then I'll, I'll let you know. The old series, the Ironwood, was by far the best seller because it was a nice upgrade from the Pro Series, but you didn't quite break, break the bank like you did with the Timberline. Now, at the time of this video, if you're watching this video down the road, uh, I know, you know I normally don't like to talk pricing. This guy, at the time of the, this video, because pricing changes all the time. So if you're watching this a year from now, pricing might be different. But for the sake of this video, $19.99, $37.99. So almost double the price. But we need to know, we have to know the answer to this. Are we getting double the value? Because if we're getting double the value, then it makes sense. But if we're not, maybe uh, the tried and true Ironwood is the way to go. So right off the bat, you can see they have the same, this sort of new, I don't know what they call this, the PAL, P-A-L system. Um, and basically all of your tools and accessories and racks can clip or universally hang off of these. So cup holders, spatula hooks, whatever, whatever you have, clips right to the front of that. I love that design. You can see too that uh, the side shelf's sizing is the same. Big addition on the side shelf and the Timberline, which we'll get to in a second. But what about actual cooking space? So just right off the bat here, this says eight chickens, 16 racks of ribs, and eight pork butts. This is 12 chickens, 16 rack of ribs, which is the same, so you can hold more chickens, but not more ribs. I don't know, I don't know how they got to that. But 12 pork butts. Now listen, if you need 12 pork, buck, pork butts at once, hopefully you're running a barbecue shop. Because if you're not, you just either have a huge family or you just love cooking pork. I don't know, but I doubt you're gonna need to cook 12 at once. All right, but, but what's deceiving about that is as far as cooking space, or as far as width goes, it's the exact same. So let me get a tape measure here. When I set that tape measure. So you can see here, our cooking width is about 33 inches, our cooking racks on the bottom. Ironwood, exact same, 33 inches. So left to right is identical. Essentially that extra cooking space is coming from the third rack. So in the Timberline, it sits up taller and we have this third rack system. All right, does that make sense? Now, if we look at these two, they both have the double insulated sides and the hood, and they both have the gasket material around them. So just looking at the hoods, they're about the same. I don't really think we're getting, obviously the well, does it sit up taller? Because it actually has like the second part of this hood. Let's measure them. Hoods might be the same height. And about 13, 13. So the, the physical hoods are, I bet you, the same hood. Like we said, the side shelf size is the same. Now let's get into the uh, carts before we go any further. So obviously this is just more of an open cart with a solid shelf all the way down the bottom. The timber line, we're gonna get our storage bucket for uh, our pellets. That's what they're called. And then we have a concealed 
door system. So this would definitely be nice for, not that these doors are waterproof, but it definitely can keep things out of the elements a little bit better for storage than the ironwood. Uh, grease management system is identical underneath here. So they both are using this new system, which is easy to get off, I think. How do we get this off, Chris? <laughs> Uh, come on. There we go. There we go. Got it. Easy peasy. So this little grease bucket here. I'm just gonna set that down there. I promise it's easier to use. I, it's just, that's 100% user error on me. Uh, that is the same. Also, they're not installed right here but we get three cedar plank or two cedar plank shelf. These can go in here as well. So you get a little more storage. So this is a little bit cleaner and I'm telling you, one thing talking about the cart is the side shelf does detach. This is nice, straight, clean lines with hidden casters because this is meant or designed to be easily installed into an outdoor kitchen. So if you're wanting to put this in an outdoor kitchen, you can't really do that with this guy and have it look clean. This one can be installed into an outdoor kitchen. The whole cart just slides right into it and you build around it. So if you're going the outdoor kitchen route, it's a no brainer. You need the Timberline, not the Ironwood. Okay, so you can see on the Timberline too, just working our way up the grill. We'll stick to the outside for now. It has the bamboo cutting board. This does not. Now I believe you can buy that as an accessory. While we're in the hopper, let's look. So our ironwood has a pellet sensor. Since the ironwood does, I'm only assuming, yep, yeah, pellet sensor here. So we have the pellet sensor, which is gonna work on your app. There, uh, control boards are identical. They both have Wi-Fi, so that's the same there. Now let's talk cooking grates. Now obviously the Timberline has more cooking grates, but you can tell there is, an, is a difference. So here, we have the enamel cooking grates and then the Timberline goes to stainless steel and they're definitely heavier. So I think they're thicker too. Oh yeah. So it's a thicker diameter cooking grate. So you definitely are getting upgraded cooking grates just on the bottom. The top ones are a little thinner on the Timberline. All right, now let's get under the hood a little bit down and dirty. Oh, this is another really cool thing the Timberline comes with. So Traeger bought out the company Meter, I don't know, maybe a couple years ago now. Meter is my favorite wireless meat probes to use. Uh, you have your own third party, if you use the separate meters, they work, no problem. Uh, but what's cool about these, you get two with your Timberline. So they're $100 each, so that's $200 value worth of meters. But these are specific Traeger X meters and they also work in your Traeger app. So you don't need to run a meter app and a Traeger app. You can control and look at your meter probes right within the Traeger app. That is super handy and super cool. That is only available on the Timberline. So you can see these little smoke shelves, identical. I bet you they're the exact same parts. So you know what I'm starting to think of as a good comparison, Chris? What's that? So, it's kind of like uh, Tahoe's, you know, Denali's and Escalade's. They're all coming from the same place. They're built on the same platform, identical in size, but essentially more bells and whistles. This is the same uh, platform, same engine, if you will. You know, it's using the same drive system, the same brushless motors that are in there, the same control boards, the same firebox, uh, it's just you're getting, this is like the Escalade version of it, if that makes sense. And I'll go through a couple other features. Now it's time to really get into the biggest, biggest difference between these grills. So check this out. So biggest complaint with pellet smokers is that they don't get hot enough to sear, which is true. I, th I like to sear at least 800 degrees. This pellet smoker is not getting that hot, just not. Which is okay, so Traeger solved that problem by giving you an induction cooktop. Now we tested this, we'll show you the video. We cooked the steak on this and it works. Like it gets hot 
quick. So it definitely does the job, but this is really the secret sauce of the Timberline is having this electric induction side burner, which you can use for searing. So that's it in a nutshell. What's my final opinion? Which one should you get? Is this worth double the price? The answer, no. Think about it. The exterior cutting board, you can buy that as an accessory, plop this on here, all right? You have worse cooking grates, not as tall, so you do lose that. Uh, you lose the electric induction cooktop, which I have a theory on in a second. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But essentially they're the same machine for double the price. Now, like I said, unless you're building this into an outdoor kitchen, I don't know if this is worth the extra money. Unless you just like having the best of the best because this is a better grill. Can a Tahoe get you to the same place as an Escalade would? Yes, but do some people still prefer to drive the Escalade? Yes. So um, I'm not saying you shouldn't buy this grill. I'm just saying if, if, if you're pinching pennies and you're trying to decide if it's worth the extra money, I don't think so. The meter probes are cool, but again, you can get your own meter probes. Buy that as an accessory. They're not gonna work in the app, but you still have them. Also, by the way, I forgot to mention, they both have the same little lights that shine up your grill, which doesn't do a whole lot. But here's the, here's the point I wanted to make about this, but you're like, well, Trevor, you can't sear if you have this. This is what I would do, okay? If you, let's say you can spend $3,800, what I would do, personally, I would buy this grill for $19.99 and then come over here. This is my little sales pitch to you. Come right here. And then I would buy our best selling gas grill for $14.99. And then you have a gas sear station and you have an entire gas grill with a rotisserie kit. So now you have a really killer pellet smoker in the ironwood for when you want to smoke, you know, on the weekends, do slow cooks, things like that. And then your Monday through Friday grill could be your awesome Napoleon. So you get way more functionality and you're still saving $200. <laughs> no brainer, right Chris? Yeah, two grills. Two grills. So the only way I would say this would be worth it is if you're a one grill person. So <laughs> I know that sounds like who needs more than one grill? Actually a lot of our customers have more than one grill. They maybe have a charcoal smoker, a pellet smoker, a gas grill, or they have a complete outdoor kitchen. If you want one grill to do everything, then get the Timberline. If it was me and I had the space, I would spend less money and have an ironwood and a gas grill. That just gives you way more versatility, I think. So as fast as these grills start, as fast as pellet smokers start, gas grills start faster. The, the what I say about pellet smokers is when people are like, should I get a pellet smoker or get a gas grill? We have a separate video on that, which I need to redo, by the way. Remind me to make that video, Chris. We need to make another one. Pellet smokers. Jack of all trades, master of none. They do everything really good, but they don't do everything perfect. Personally, I don't think you get as strong of a pro favorite flavor profile as charcoal, so I like to smoke with charcoal. But it's really close and it's really good and it's super easy and so simple. That's why people buy pellet smokers. So I personally would buy this grill because the ironwood is killer for the money. Like this is, I think gonna be their best selling grill because it is a nice upgrade compared to the old ironwood. They've really done a nice job updating this grill. And unfortunately, I think it's gonna cannibalize some of this, these sales because this grill is so awesome. They made this one so good for the money. That's your own fault, Traeger. If you lose sales to this, it's because you made this grill too good, <laughs> which isn't a bad thing. You know, to make something that's somewhat affordable, this is now $2,000 is still a premium product but certainly a lot more affordable than this, but gives you a, a lot of the same features as the Timberline for almost half the price. That's why I'm going this all day long. The Ironwood is absolutely killer for $19.99. Oh, and by the way, if you're trying to decide if you want the Ironwood or the Ironwood XL, get the XL. It's $200 difference. So you get all the extra cooking space for only 200 bucks. It's not like a 500 to 700, well, that's a big jump, you know? Um, but $17.99 to $19.99, just get the XL. No brainer. All right, that's my hot take on hot take because their grills get it. 
that's my take on this. Tell me what you guys think. If you guys think I'm on the right track or not in the comment section. We'll see you guys next time.